Never ran from nothing but the police. From the city where the skinny carry strong heat, north side Long Beach, north side Long Beach. What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Thank you for tuning in to another one. Um, I don't know what I'm getting into today. Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, but what I do know is, I'm just saying, it's Cyber Monday. This video should drop today on Cyber Monday. But even if it drops tomorrow, I'm going to let you know that all week, I I just dropped some hoodies on the site. They're uh, $15 off right now. $15 off my hoodies. And I have hats dropping later this week. So, and the hats will be $20. That's a, you know, a deal. I think I might just keep the hats at $20, you know, so you guys can... Just have because I don't. I think I'm gonna start coming out with a lot more stuff that I would personally wear. I can't wear hats, you know. So, like, sorry. Um, maybe like some beanies and stuff soon. But um, yeah. So, hope you guys enjoy the video. This one should be a fun one though. You know, I got I got some, I got some good clips to put in here. So, if you like the video, like the video. If you want to subscribe, I don't know where the button is. It's somewhere here. You know, just. Some mindless stuff, though. You know? I don't like easy shit. Me neither. That's why. That's why it's the easy. Shit. I don't like the easy stuff. Though. What are you doing? What is that? Right here, man. Yeah. These but what is that? But what is that? What? Like, what is going on in the hoodie right now? What the fuck is that? <laughs> you, you, you is that a sticker? Difficult. What is that? Oh, it's, it's vinyl. That's a sticker? It's, that's, it's, not, that's a vinyl? I don't... It's crazy. You see, you messing me out. I don't know. Stupid motherfucker. What is it? What is that's it some, called? That's ink, bro. It's an ink transfer. That's oh. some, some plastic soil ink, bro. Oh, no, just... So we get the ink on there. We get it on the sheet. We line it up. What are you doing? He's, he's, a better, shit? he's a better vlogger than me. He should be behind the camera. Oh my own. Sorry. It's high, bro. How high is this machine, bro? Was that like 350? Yeah, going in focus. Tap it. Oh, there's there Hicks. Go. Where you at? <laughs> he's gonna be like, yo, man, we're talking shit. <laughs> he's not gonna watch it. <laughs> I'm not talking shit. It's just the name of the machine. Put it in the oven. Let it bake up. <laughs> uh -oh. I thought it said hang time, but it says mark something. Where? It says it on the thing. Oh. Yo, take that shit, bro. Take that shit and just cool it off. I'm just showing, bro. Show them how to look. Bro. Oh. All right, so this, this is a cooling tile, bro. It's just a tile, bro. And you cool it off. That's not Markel's hand. He's gonna take it over. Oh my god. It's, so it's, like, a, it's like a day in the life, man. But I'm a very awkward person if I'm not feeling myself. Oh my god, bro. What are you doing? Peel it off. Let him see. Peel it off right over here. Oh, all right. We gotta go over here to peel it off. Yeah, man. You gotta have stations. Beautiful. Chris. Beautiful. Another one. Another So you get like new hoodies coming out or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
And it's very awkward, man. Mm -hmm. It's easier to film myself than it is to be filmed, you know? You know? Just saying. This is not easier than being filmed. I would rather talk to myself. I don't even know where to look. It looks awkward if you start looking at the camera. If you actually start looking where the camera is. Yo, yeah, yeah, crazy right over here. You know what I'm saying? Yo, I will on FaceTime. I'm gonna put I'm all on live. In. I'm gonna put every second of this in. I just wanna let you know that. So, you know, if you wanna shout yourself out or anything like that. Nah. It's the ill angle, the security angle. I gotta repress. Hey, motherfucker, take it. evil All right, guys, I just want to explain something to you guys about that last clip that you've seen. Well, it, I mean, of course, it doesn't look like anything is going on in that clip. But basically, I was just, you know, I was at home, you know, I rode around, filmed some GoPro stuff. That was like the other day. And I just found the clip and I just remembered. Um, basically, I went there and I ended up seeing a bunch of like of my old bike friends. Like they're actually like much older than me but they they were around when i started and they helped me get into riding a lot more and they helped me learn a lot so i i leave the park because I, I i just was like i rode and i was tired i had been there for a couple hours before they got there and i was just like um i'm gonna take off they were like oh you sure and i'm like yeah you know i'm gonna leave i just want to go rest for a little bit so i went home and probably like 10 maybe 15 you know minutes i'm you know my house is like five minutes away so I'm home maybe like 10 minutes. I get a call from my friend Ron. He was there. He's one of the friends. And he's like, yo, Markel, something happened at the park, man. I, I don't know if you should go back soon or whatever. Like that, some, something like that. He was just like, yo, something happened at the park. And I'm like, my first assumption when people tell me that, I'm like, yo, it was like, was there a shooting or something? You know, and he was like, nah, it wasn't a shooting. But I guess, I guess like a group of kids or older, I don't know what it was group of people ran up on in the park and confronted they ran up on him and they ran up on basically all the locals of the park for no reason basically because ron ron doesn't even go there often to get in anything and he's never gotten any anything you know he's a older cool dude never has a problem with anybody so they come in and they're pressing the issue or whatever and i guess they end up like like jumping some kid and fighting a bunch of people there or whatever and one of my other friends ended up actually getting cut in his face because ron some dude ran up on ron and i guess he like pushed him back and he tried to come back at ron with a blade and then my other friend ended up getting a fight with him but not knowing that he had a blade in his hand 
it wasn't really a blade it was like a exacto knife you know what the exacto knife is it's just a little handle and it has like a little sharp blade on the front but you, you know you can easily poke somebody or slash somebody with so he ends up getting slashed in his face i haven't seen him because i haven't been to hound since since that happened um i probably go check soon you know because stuff happens a lot at the park you know if i do say so myself stuff I've been there for a lot of crazy things that you guys will probably never know about, but you, but, um, yeah, so I just, I don't know. I just wanted to touch on this subject because it's pretty, pretty crazy because I, I haven't been going often, but the one time I go and I decide to leave for whatever re reason, I was just not feeling being there anymore. I decided to leave. I missed something that I definitely didn't want to be there for, you know, I, like, no matter how much I want content for you guys, I don't want to put myself in harm's way for it, so. But, I'm going to end the video off here. I just wanted to give you guys a short little um, story on what happened after that clip right there. Because it was crazy. Like, I mean, to get that call from Ron was probably the least expected thing ever. You know, usually Ron calls me super happy. Like, yo, let's go ride somewhere. It's me and such and such. But this one was like, it was surreal. It was like, what? Ron's an issue? That's a problem. Actually, last time Ron called me, one of my friends died. So, But um, thank you guys for tuning in. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I know this video is really random. It's like a couple days apart, separated. But I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And, you know, If you made it all the way to the end, through all my ads, through all my hangtimeco.com ads, please subscribe. Please like the video. Please tell your friends, your family, you, you know, everybody, you know. Tell your coworkers. Come back and find me. And if you see me in person, say hi. Peace.